Hey guys, it's me. If you're hoping this will be a funny video, I'm sorry, but this is a health update. Since my last video, I've gotten no new answers except most of my hormone, vitamin, and other chemical levels in my body are normal. A couple days ago, my primary had me do some blood work to do a full thyroid panel. And I'm hoping that's the cause of all this because it's easy to treat. You know, all I got to do is alter my thyroid medication levels. But until that comes in, we don't know what's wrong with me. I'm still not able to stand for more than 30 seconds at a time most of the day. So helping out around the house, running errands, taking Sadie to the dog park, I can't handle any of it. I'm basically stuck on the couch most of the time and I'm going stir crazy here. But the good part about having chronic illness that leads to severe fatigue is that I'm adjusted to it. This isn't anything foreign to me, but it's still discouraging and exhausting because I want to be productive and I want to get things accomplished, but my body just isn't letting me. Since the last video, I haven't gotten any better. And it's going on almost three weeks now. And I don't know if you can hear it in my voice right now, but it's unofficially fall weather right now, which I love, but my sinuses don't love it. So I'm also feeling congested on top of all this. And there's good news though. God did work a small miracle for me yesterday. I had no doctor's appointments until my mom called my heart specialist and my endocrinologist and she was able to get me back-to-back -back appointments with both of those doctors yesterday. My heart doctor had me put on a halter 24-hour heart monitor so I got electrodes like this all over my chest and it's not comfortable. And thankfully I get to take it off in a few hours. And my dad will send the unit back to them on Monday. But I'm really hoping that it's not my heart that's causing this. Because if it's the heart, then that gets me thinking what if it is going to be a chronic thing. But I'm trying not to think that far ahead at the same time. So I could just really use your prayers for comfort and encouragement right now. Because I don't like living like this, but I have no choice. And I just want to know what's wrong with me so I can start fixing it. But cool news is my mom recently bought me a Vivo Smart HR smartwatch, basically. It looks like this. It tells the time and the date, and it also tracks your activity level, and it helps with music, it can tell me the weather, and it tells me my pulse rate. It shows my average and my current, and if I flip it up, it tells me the la my heart rate for the last four hours. And it's also really handy because it tracks my sleep patterns. And with this, I found out on average, I'm getting between five and six hours of deep sleep every night. So I know it's not my sleep apnea making me this tired. But what is? That's what's driving me nuts right now. But I'll do my best to keep you guys posted as I find out new information about this. Because I know... A good handful of you guys 
genuinely care and I appreciate that very much. I'll try to keep you filled in. I love you all and I hope you're doing better than I am.